Hey Ben, let's go back to the Kutztown game. You lead this team back to a 39-38 victory in overtime. You have an amazing drive to set up the game tying field goal. What was going through your head on that last drive and in overtime? Um, well, in overtime, I mean, we're just looking to, you know, we got the defense out there first, so we got the ball, and basically we know what we need to do. All we need to do is get in the end zone. So basically from that point, it's, it's just, you know, smelling the end zone, getting in there. I think it was three plays on the third play we get in. We didn't even throw the ball, we just ran it. Once you get that first play and you see the momentum and you can just see it in the defense, uh, there's no stopping us. We're going we're gonna to get in the end zone. That's our mentality and that's what we did. I mean, that was probably one of the craziest games we've seen in Clarity in, in some time. What does that game rank for you personally uh, for any game you've played, high school, college? Yeah, I mean, at the end of that game, still knowing that uh, we had the rest of the season ahead of us, it was just, you know, one game we got the W. That was all that mattered. But now when I look back on it, uh, it really was a, an extraordinary game. If you run through all the different things that happened from the, the field goal situation at the end, the 24 seconds left, driving down the field, getting in field goal position. And then over time, it really was a remarkable game. So definitely up there on my uh, top top games. Unfortunately, you come off that great game. You have Lock Haven the next week. You get hurt in the second quarter of that one. Uh, you're out for the year. Uh, what was the first thing that went through your mind once you got hurt in that Lock Haven game? Uh, when I got hurt, first off, I was wondering, um, you know, what's going on with my knee. Um, I was looking to see who went in the game, you know, what was the situation, making sure that was okay. And then, uh, really, I never really had any knee injury, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know what the pain I was feeling, what it all meant. So I was just, you know, trying to be careful through it all and just, you know, let the trainers know everything that was going on, everything I felt, and just, you know, trying to diagnose it and not. You know, try not to think too big and just try to try to just relax. Now, unfortunately, it turned out to be a, a fairly severe injury and, and you missed the year. So how have you dealt with a guy you've been playing for, for two and a half years now, I think, it, being able to go from the sidelines, how have you dealt with, with that role? Definitely um, just, just finding a ways to accept it, finding the good in it. I know that's weird to say, finding the good in an injury like this, but I've talked to, you know, tons of guys have had ACL injuries. So I've talked to people, talked to coaches. Find the good in it. Um, stay connected with football. So don't just try to try to drown it out. You know, face it, face it right right in front of you, and just stay connected with the team. Um, I've still been participating, going to practice, trying to help those young quarterbacks out. I mean, when I was when I was young and I was playing as a freshman, um, I really it would have been nice to have you know some senior on the team guiding you through. So I'm definitely talking to those two guys, Matt and Darrell, trying to you know guide them through some things too. So so you still had that leadership role even from the sideline. You think you still held on to that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, even if I'm, I'm not at practice, say I'm, I'm um, just still around in Clarion, guys are still contacting me with questions, uh, any position. I mean, I've established that leader role, so guys still come to me with that. And if it's football, academics, anything, still guys are contacting me. And then during the game, what is your involvement? During the game, I've been traveling to all the games, going to the games. I haven't, because of my knee, I wasn't on the sideline for the past few. Um, just, you know, talking to the guys in the locker room before the game, halftime. Um, still keep my distance, really, because uh, I don't want to pressure on those those young quarterbacks too much, uh, tr talking them up or too much or saying too much. I just want them to be able to relax. So, um, in the game, I'm really not doing a ton, but just you know, watching. Now, are you still eligible for a medical red shirt? And if you are, is that something that you might consider? What I heard about the medical red shirt is they use like a 20% rule. So if you played in 20% of the games. Um, you're eligible for the red shirt. And they're gonna, they go through and do the process anyway, they'll apply me for the red shirt. But I mean, just the situation it was in, I, I'm graduating this December, I interned this summer in Pittsburgh and they already offered me a job and I accepted that job offer in the summer going into this. So it was really a bad time. And so at this point right now, it's, it's really not in the picture that I'll be coming back in the fall, but you, you never know. So right now it's uh, graduate and start working. Um, now you talked about Darrell and Matt. I mean, what have you seen, I, I guess, more from Darrell since he, he's been the starter that took over for you, uh, his improvement this year, and what can we expect from him maybe in, in future years? Darrell, the main thing that you saw to him, or at least that I saw to him, knowing when he got uh, put in the game was confidence. He, he went in there, he wasn't scared, he wasn't worried at all. He, he's not the kind of guy that, you know, he throws an interception, he's down on himself the rest of the game. He's, he knows it's, it's a learning process, he's in there, he's confident, he's playing well, he has all the tools, he runs the ball well, he throws the ball well. So having all that in there, he's the great great quarterback and I really do expect things from him in the future. From him in the future. And then from Matt Focos, I know uh, Seton Hill was his first game, but I know he's only seen a little bit, but what can we maybe expect from him? Matt, when he came in, I mean, he's a true freshman, 18 years old. When he came into camp, he really showed uh, all the upperclassmen that he has the ability to throw the ball really well. I mean, he, he threw some, for some crazy numbers in high school, and I know that's high school, you know, doesn't translate right into college, but just having that coming into college, um, he throws a great ball, and he's, 
he really has the potential thrown in. He's also an athletic player, so those are the type of quarterbacks we have on the team. Uh, what do you think your emotions are going to be this Saturday for, for Senior Day? I, I was thinking about that earlier this week, actually. It's, it, it's hard to tell. I mean, we, I've been through this for now for five weeks now, and it's, it's, it's to the point now where I think I've accepted it. So Saturday, I mean, if, if I was playing, it's still an emotional time. So no matter what, it's going to be an emotional thing. It's saying goodbye to football, basically, and uh, passing it on with uh, mainly the thing is you know, to thank family, thank friends that have been supporting me. So senior day, uh, thank my parents, everything like that, and just support the guys out there. If you don't come back in the fall, what will you remember most about playing for Clarion, attending uh, attending Clarion? Uh, definitely just that I I really think I had a, a remarkable career. The opportunity that I had was given by Coach Foster when they put me in. They showed me they showed confidence in me to play. Uh, I'm extremely happy with where my career was and how I played and the friends I made, the games that we won, some of the closer games, uh, Law Haven last year. Never forget that. Just some of the. The crazy rides, the ups and the downs, but uh, wouldn't wouldn't trade it for anything. Happy with my career.